we need to write the numbers below in words. So here, we can see that all of our numbers are three-digit numbers. So if we remember that in a three-digit number, the first digit tells us how many hundreds we have, then we have our tens digit, and then on the end, we have our ones digit. That will help us to write these numbers. So first, we can see that we have a five as our hundreds digit, so we can write 500. Notice it's 500, not 500s. If I'm talking about the digit, I might say that we have 500s in this number, but when writing the number in words, we write 500. Then we know that after our hundreds digit, we have our tens and ones digits. So if we take these together, we have an eight and a two, so that's 82. That means our number is 582. So with the word and after the word hundred and a hyphen between the 80 and the two. Now for this number here, we have seven as our hundreds digit, so we can write 700. But then after our hundreds digit, our tens and ones digits are both zeros. That means we don't have any tens or ones in this number, so we don't need to write anything else. Our number is just 700. Now, here we have an eight as our hundreds digit, so that's 800. And then after our hundreds digit, we have a four and a zero, so that's 40. Meaning that our number is 840. And finally, we can see that for this number, we have a two as our hundreds digit, so we write 200. Then, after the hundreds digit, we have a zero and a one. So that's a zero as our tens digit. So we have 201. Now let's take a closer look at these numbers. First, we had 582. So we can show five hundreds, eight tens, and two ones. Now, for 700, we can show seven hundreds, but because we don't have any tens or ones, we don't need to show anything else. Then we had 840. So that's eight hundreds, and then 40, we have four tens. And finally, we had 201. So that's two hundreds, no tens, and one one.